We know that there is a generation of Jamaicans who were not born in the 1970s and they have no clue as to how the other party destroyed Jamaica. They have no clue. There is a generation born in the 90s and the early 2000s. They have no clue as to how the 18 and a half years of the PNP destroyed Jamaica. Ooh. Interesting statement, Prime Minister. Let's look at some of the destruction you said the PNP caused and let's see if Jamaica would be better off without it. The Rural Agricultural Development Authority, RADA 1990, committed to promoting the development of agriculture in Jamaica to enhance the national economy and improve the quality of life of rural farm families. Mm, that's gone! The Office of the Utilities Regulation, OUR, 1997, was established to regulate the operations of utility companies in Jamaica. That's gone too! The Jamaica Urban Transit Company, 1998, revolutionized the public transport service within the Kingston Metropolitan Transport Region, Spanish Town, and Port War. There goes a main part of Jamaica's transport system. But wait, what about Jamaica's first state-of-the-art transport hub for the corporate area, the Halfway Tree Transport Center, that opened in 2008? Are you seeing a trend here? The regulation of the telecoms industry. In 1999, there was only 5% mobile phone subscribers totaling 120,000 people. This change broke the monopoly, brought new players to the market, introduced prepaid service, low prices for handsets, and by 2007, there was 100% penetration. That would be simply no more. The Highway 2000 was initialized to connect to Jamaica via a comprehensive highway system, upgrade Jamaica's infrastructure, provide economic opportunities for growth, and create jobs. For the hundreds of thousands of Jamaicans that rely on these highways, can you imagine life without them? The PATH Program 2001 Allocated through the Ministry of Labor and Social Security, the Program of Advance Through Health and Education Path is a conditional cash transfer CCT program aimed at delivering benefits to the most needy and vulnerable in society. Say goodbye to that as well. The National Environment and Planning Agency, NEPA, 2001. That was created to promote sustainable development by ensuring protection of the environment and orderly development in Jamaica. Without it, our watersheds, mangroves, and areas like our cockpit country would all be without protection. <gasps> That's gone too! The Emancipation Park, 2002. This lush seven-acre landscape was created to be a reminder of Jamaica's emancipation, freedom from bondage, and a reminder to excel, a green space in the city that, yep, you guessed it, you have to say goodbye to this beautiful oasis. The National Health Fund, 2003. This fund helps improve patient experiences, prescription services, and access to medicine in Jamaica, as well as inpatient and outpatient pharmacy services for the public health sector, infrastructure development, and much more. You guessed it, that would be gone as well. Without major upgrades to Sabina Park in 2005, the creation of the Trelawney Multipurpose Stadium 2007, and work beginning on the Montego Bay Sports Complex, otherwise known as Catherine Hall, in 2000, we can say goodbye to the priceless ICC World Cup memories 
and the growth in Jamaica's sports tourism. Tourism Enhancement Fund 2005 that was established to lead tourism innovation in the areas of infrastructural and sustainable projects, human capital development, and tourism linkages. <gasps> Gone with the wind. While we're on the topic of tourism, say adios to all the fancy Spanish hotels that bring in so many of our tourists and provide jobs. Thanks to the Master Plan for Sustainable Tourism Development in 2002. And the Falmouth cruise shipping pair that began development in 2009 and brought a record number of tourists to Jamaica. Say later to that as well. Let it not be forgotten that in those 18 years, education was a major priority. As a result, 64 schools were built and refurbished, including 17 new basic, primary, and high schools in Western Jamaica between 2004 and 2005, as well as Greater Portmore High School in 1995, Ascot 1997, and Cumberland 2000. Disappear. <gasps> now, I don't know about you, but it looks like the PNP spent 18 years laying a good foundation that Jamaica, including the current government, is benefiting from. By the way, if you're watching this using a community hotspot or broadband, you can thank the PNP and the establishment of the Universal Access Fund that later developed into the Universal Service Fund, which provides free community Wi-Fi and hotspots island-wide. Oh no! That means you would have to say goodbye to this too.